Let me start my message tonight or the message of the Lord uh, the, by saying that Kadeti uh, last two weeks, uh, three weeks, uh, malpas sa ito no Friday, if I'm not mistaken, naglipas sa ito no Friday, that a lesson ni Pastor Junti Obedience. Okay? Dapat last nga segment na yan. The reasons why we obey God. 42, if I'm not mistaken. 42 reasons why we need to obey God. Now, dati pa nagtulnog kiniapod Diyos kakabsat, the issue na dito ay, kat may panggap ti love can faith. Oh, that jenny love faith. Ngayon, the issue ti pa nagtulnog ti apod kakabsat, may panggap iti pa nagayat. Ken pa nagtalek. Obeying God is an issue of love and faith. Love because we cannot say we love Him if we don't obey His word. Di nga mi kakapsat, isn't it? May bagam ka ding ay ayatam itiapo, no han kamat nga agtongpal kadagiti sa una. As He said in John chapter 14 verse number 15, the Bible says in John Chapter 14, 15, If ye love me, keep my commandments. That is very clear. What is the evidence that we love the Lord? Hello? What is the evidence that we love the Lord? We keep His commandments. So it's an issue of love. So do you love the Lord? If you do, then you keep His commandments. Now, it is also an issue of faith because as uh, the renowned pastor in America, Charles Stanley said, faith and obedience are traveling companions. One cannot go without the other. You don't say you have faith and no obedience. And you don't say that you obeyed and no faith. They go together, traveling companions, heading to the same destination of pleasing and glorifying the Lord. For without faith, it is impossible to what? Please God. So, deti panagtulnog tiyapo kakabsat is an issue of love as well as faith or trust in the Lord. Tonight, in the book of 1 Kings chapter 17, 1-9, we will be blessed by Elijah's obedience and its result. May inspiran tayong makakita kakabsat, iti pa nagtulnog ni Elijah, ken ti resulta, wano bunga, day di pa nagtulnog na iti apo. I'm going to read from 1 Kings chapter 17, 1-9. Follow me with your eyes. On the screen will be the English, but I'll be reading from the Ilocano translation. <clears throat> the Bible says, Ket ni Elias at Isbita, amay sa kadagiti agnaed sa digalaad, Kinuna na ken akab, kas tiapo Diyos ti Israel si Bibiyag na ti sangwana na agtaktak derat, awan to ti linnaa wen no uray tudo kadigiti atawtawen, no saan laing akas mayan nurot iti saok. So, it is a declaration from God about a coming crisis. Verse 2, Ket ti sao tiapo imay ken kwana a kinuna na, Pumano ka ditoy ket ag subli ka ng agpadaya, ket ag lemeng ka iti waig iti serit, nga dati sango ti hordan. Verse 4, Ket kastoy to nga uminom kanto ijay waig, ket siyak imbilin ko kadagiti wak at araunan da kasadyay. 5, Iti kasta, iso na pan ket inaramid na ti mayan nuro ti sautia po. Tanapan ken nagnaed iti den na tiwaig aserit, nga day ti sango iti hordan. Ket dagiti wak, impanda ken kuwa na titinapay ken lasag ti agsapa. Ken tinapay ken lasag iti malem, ket imminum ijay waig. So twice a day nga nangan. Twice a day. Day jay ti usto nga diet, twice a day. Dati nga mina Pilipino ko three times a day. Plus merienda in between. They cut with midnight snack six times. Okay? Verse 7, Ket na aramid, tikalpasan ti tiyempo na, 
nga tiwaig na at tiyanan, taawan ti tudo iti daga. Ket, ti sa uti yapo, imay kenkwana, akinunana, tumakder ka in ka sa di sa repa. Sa repta, iso abyang ti si Don, keragnaid ragnaid ka sa jay. At toy, imbilin ko ti may sa babaya balo sa jay at araunan na ka. Itikas na ti makder ket na pan sa di sa repta, ket iti dimteng ti ruangan ti ili, at toy may sa babaya balo, at da ijay ngagpidpidot kadagiti ruting, ket inayaban na ket kinunana, iegan na dawatek ken ka iti basita danom, ti may sa abaso, tap no inumek. Now, kada ito nga passage kakabsat, idanon ko kada kayo ti mensahe iti apo kada tayo HBBC family and everyone watching tonight, nga ti pauno na kakabsat, the three vital keys in your walk of faith. Talo nga nasisita nga tulbek, iti panagna, iti pamati, iti panagtulnog, iti apo. Three vital keys in obeying God. Talo nga importante nga tulbek, iti intayo panagna, iti pamati. Now, deti ka dati iti rabaw, iti dagagagabsat, may isa nga temporaryo nga panagdaldalyasat. Yet no man pay, we are uh, affected and uh, connected with the loss of nature, the loss of the land, but our walk or way of life, ti panangkita tayo papan ti panagbiag, is governed by biblical principles. They di pamati tayo ti Biblia, di panagtalek tayo ti sa utiyapo. So, ano di kiti talo nga tulbek nga kasapulan kagabsat nga adda kada tayo, iti panagbiag tayo, iti pamati. Kada iti ka adda iti rabaw, iti daga. Well, let me enumerate them. Number one is direction. Narigat yag turong iti banag wano lugar nga awan iti direction. Number two, Submission. Submission. Number three, provision. So, three vital keys. Tandaan ninyo, Absat, nalaka lang yung kabesa. Purusyon, ti maudi na. Amen? Oo. Di kita'y mahilig, ti punsyon. Nalaka nga yung kabesa. Direction, submission, provision. Let's take one by one tonight. Number one key, first key tonight is direction. No, direction ko na tayo kakabsat, kat instruction dito eh. Nga isot mangisuro, mangiturong, mangidalan, mangibaga, no anyakan sa din no ti dapat nga pagturungan. In life, kitkitaan tayo nga tiyapo kakabsat, iso iti kapitan di pa nagbiag tayo. He directs and charts the course. Iso na kakabsat, iti mangtud, ti navigation, ti pa nagbiag tayo. Now, in verse number 2 and 8, makita tayo iti kakabsat, iti consistency. Kita tayo iti verse number 2. And I read from the English. Watch carefully as I read. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Anat imay kini Elijah? The word of the Lord. And then in verse number 8, it says, And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Now, remember that these are two episodes. First, they broke Cherith, di pa pa najiwaig. Second is Sarifat, di pa nagturong na ijay Sarifat. Ngayon saan nga nagaturturong isuna ka digitoy? In fact, he would have no, he would, he should have no, ay, awang kumat idea na kakabsat, no sa dinuturungan na, no awan that you verse 2 and verse 8. It was the word of the Lord that ordered Elijah to go to the waig, ken di pa nagturong na iti Zarephat. This tells us kakabsat, nga, dagiti, ba nagti pa nagbiag tayo, Masapol nga pa iturong tayo ti sao iti apo. Our direction, brethren, this is our direction. 
not the Facebook. Han nga, di gijay mabuas, basa day nga, tiltila, da di Facebook. No, that's not our direction in life. Or from Instagram. Or not from our emotions. Wano ti voices, da giti tattao ko na tayo manlangan eh. But our direction is from the Word of God. In matters of doctrine, morality, practices, and everything pertaining to biyag tayo ng kas Kristiano, this is our direction. Now, as I read the passage, I'd like to share to you two practical observations. One, letter A. In a time of crisis, the word of the Lord became Elijah's direction. Now, generally, all of us is in a time of crisis today. And the vital key, titulbek nga masapol tayo, kaday ito nga crisis kakabsat, awan sabali nohan nga iti word of God. The Bible says that men shall not live by bread alone. Everybody works for food. Yes, but food is only good to maintain your physical body. Ngayon saan lang ang kakabsat nga di tinapay, iti mabali na pagbiag ti tao. No di kat anyaman nga taod iti sao iti yapo. The whole thing, the whole point, the point of this whole matter is this. Make the Word of God the final authority of your life. Make the Word of God the final authority of your life. Kada tayo nga nag-anak, day tati ipaganit gat tayo, kada giti anak tayo. Not their feelings. Iso nga, nung tayo anak tayo kakabsat, for instance, at da umay na ibaga, at kararag tayo, tayo ka na tayo tiapo ti Bible verse. Wano malagip tayo, di kita'y na-preach. Tapnot isot, i-provide tayo nga guidance kada'y di anyaman nga issue nga i-bring out, di di anak tayo kada tayo. In that case, we will be teaching them how to discern and make right judgment on the basis of the Word of God. Let us remember that life is a series of transitions. Pag sinabi nating transition, bawat panagtawin tayo, panag-adjust. Di ba? From childhood, you adjust to youth life. Then after youth, after that, uh, career, panag-asawa. All of these are series of adjustments in life. And we face crisis. But praise the Lord, tiyapo kakabsat, intud nan dagiti direction an instruction that the Bible all we have to do is listen to how it is preached we will find and understand the sense of the Bible and read it meditate on it so the word of the Lord became Elijah's direction second observation I want you to take this thing seriously is this Review your preaching notes. Can you get my preaching notes? Dienta office. Dienta. Yeah. Okay. Review your preaching notes. Kada kayo kakabsat nga dienta zoom itayag yuman di kita preaching notes yo. Where is the person in charge here? Okay. Kita nte man. Can you show? Awan dan sa mutong kakabsat nagpukaw dan. Yan, okay? There are the, the yun, 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 yan. Okay? Preaching notes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, I want you to review those preaching notes. When was the last time nga nag-review ka ti preaching note mo? When was the last time? When was the last time? Are you listening? Now, why am I emphasizing this? Okay. Ibagak pa lang, there's reason na kakabsat. By the way, mamaya na. Why? Ito yun. Don't you know that God 
provided us lessons ahead of time to forearm us. God provided us less. God has provided us lessons ahead of time. Teka na saunti ahead of time kakabsat. Perhaps that the lesson ko ita next year munto pa lang masapol. Which means that next year you should review the notes that you have written today because you need to be reminded. Nawatan yung kabsat. God provides us lessons ahead of time. So take this thing seriously. Tonight, before you go to bed, please, get your notebooks, just review them, just review them. Just go over. Just go over. Because mabalin nga da na preach ko ano ni Pastor Jun, last year or in the previous years, Nga hamu kailangan dai di nga kanito ngem itam nga masapol. Always remember that. Past preachings. Let me put it in another way. Past preaching lessons may be the timely instruction for the present. Past preaching lessons may be the timely instruction for the present. Hamulang amu kakabsat, nga dayjay, naglabas nga preaching lessons, okay? Kat isu dagayam iti timely nga principles nga masapul mo kakabsat, iti dayo ito yung agundaway. Let me put it in another way. Eto yon. <clears throat> you may not needed it <clears throat> when you heard it, but you surely need it now. Mabaling nga mo masapul, idi, time nga pa nakaikasabana, ngem itan nga masapul mo. Kasla DJ ko na ni Pastor Junti na minsan, when he was uh, preaching on uh, obedience, kat ko na na, nakatado DJ, di nga min, isurat yung lata ko na na, mabaling nga han yung masapul ita, ngem adanto time nga kasapulan nyo digitoy. So, kasla ti arig nakakabsad. From time to time, ket numamin ano, nga dagundaway tayo, nga ag-take note, ken ag-dengeg, ti so ti apo ko nag-take note, kasla gundaway tayo kakabsad, nga agurnong, nga agurnong, nga agurnong. And praise the Lord, there may be a reason why imadu kakabsad, ti schedules tayo ti preaching. Are you not wondering why? At darasun ti apo kakabsad, no apay nga imadu, Kasi, awan mo't data Monday night dati. We had Monday night for prayer meeting with men. But now, it became a regular service. Wednesday night. Okay? Friday night. Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. So, dumagdag ng dumagdag ang ating preaching uh, programs. Why? Because God is already giving us the tools that we need. Not maybe now, but next year. Therefore, Next year, we must have a sense to realize rebuke man di kiti preaching idi last year. Baka itak nga masapulen. It's like, you know, umay ti December, o kagak man di kabinet, idi inukag mo, ni dadagayam jacket, mausar ko itan, tapang naglalamiis. Review your preaching notes. Now, as an example, kakabsat, do you know, did you realize na dito nga preaching kakabsat na i-preach kon, sino ka dahil makalagip na dito nga lesson kat na i-preach kon? Will you raise your hand? Ayon. Now, I am preaching it now and it is very timely. Do you know, ti may isang application na dito kakabsat, jipan ng tad, dito first fruit to no December 20. Because probably you now have the amount kayo adot pa kasulisugam. But this message ti adadda nga mang inspire jay pusum to obey God. To walk by faith and leave the results to Him. So, tatay malim kakabsat, re-rebuke, dito yung notebook ko kat, uh, kaano dito, kat 2000, uh, let me check. This notebook is 2018. This one, 2018. This one is also 2000, let me see. 
Okay, February. This is also 2018. So while I was scanning my notebooks, hala nga dating nga lesson ka kabsat, but personally, at dada na isursurat ko dito, nga nakidilan tiya po kanyak idi. Kat ita nga mabasa ka kabsat, nagmayat iti pa nagsaad na kanya kita. Isong nga importante nga, the notebook mo nga pagilista am dagiti pakidilan tiya po keng ka, Because in next year or following year, kakabsat, nakasamsam ito pe lang, di gito'y nga review ang kala, di gito'y tikilaban kakabsat nga nakaimimas lahat ta. You know? So we talk about direction. We have been praying. Kung kuna tayo, good Lord, anat aramida kita isurunak. Among the aramida, alam, di gito'y notebook mo, review um kit di, te ikan nakatiapot idea te aramida ita. Because di mo ang mo nga DJ kasapulan nga principal ita na ito din kakabsat two years ago. Oh, na ito din two years ago. Many times kakabsat kasta iti way iti yapo. Because God will give us messages ahead of time. Hala nga ti sa uti yapo kakabsat timely, no di kat preparatory. Remember that? Preachings are not only a timely lesson, they are also preparatory lessons. So I hope, nga di kita nga notebooks tayo, kan di kita yung notes tayo kakabsat. Haan nga tiltila at that ay ayan na kumaha kakabsat. Isuro tayo, di kibasit, di kita anak tayo ta, ita idalumanat na di kijay, ita di kijay, kat bakahan nang tumuulit pa ikit di nga maipritsan. Ngem de gije nga principal kakabsat they are equivalent to tools in life hampulos nga agkalawang datay lat agkalawang ngem de gije nga sauti apo hampulos nga aglati de gije kakabsat so let me encourage you set aside time tonight or this week get all your notebooks no in save mo di cellphone mo good laptop good but take time to review and you will realize Nagadugaya mo ang kakabsat, namnamsilkan iti tools, wonderful, treasures, iti panagbiag mo, babaan ka digiti nga preachings. So, number one, vital key in your walk of faith is direction. Digita kakabsat, di Bible, kan digiti preaching notes tayo. Amen? Okay. Number two is submission. The second vital key is submission. Now, let us read verse 5 and verse 10 for another consistency. Verse 5. Kunan na di Bible. Kalpasan di instruction ti Apo. Kunan na. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith that is before Jordan. Let us look at verse number 10. The Bible says, So he arose and went to Zarephath. Now, two different places, but only one action. And what is the action that Elijah did? Anat inaramid na kakabsat? He went. Makita mo the word nga went to verse 5. Go back to verse 5. So, he went. Look at verse number 10. So, he arose and went. Nagturungan na kakabsat. Ijay pagayatan tiya po. Ijay direction itiya po. Ken kuwana. Now, letter A, obedience is a step of faith. Obedience is a step of faith. No ada pa nagtalag tayo tiya po kakabsat, agtulog tayo ken kuwana. Kung nangarod ni Apostle Peter, DJ, when the Lord Jesus said, let down your nets. Why at you to ikot you? Peter said, Lord, we have toiled all night. We have done what a sensible fisherman will do. And it does not make sense. I want to say the verse, but it seems it says, he's saying, it does not make sense for me to draw the net now. Nevertheless, at thy word, we will let down the net. Gaputa imbagam, kunana, we will let down the net. So, obedience is a step 
of faith. Okay? Iti pa nagtulnog kagabsat, kat pa nagadang iti pa mati. Saan nga ti apo ti sumurot ka da tayo? Da tayo kagabsat ti agtulnog keng kwana. Amen? We should not be driven by self-will. We should be driven by faith. Now, letter B kagabsat, may kadwa. Obeying God can be challenging. Obeying God can be challenging. Di pa nagtulog tiya po kakabsat, it can be difficult at times. There will be a struggle involved. Sala ko ma, dito yung panang tati, first fruits kakabsat, aya, dito yung December 20. Mabaling at the struggle. Ngayon no, da ayat tayo tiya po, kan ada pa nagtalag tayo tiya po kakabsat, maitod tayo by God's grace. Now, bakit ko nasabi that obeying God can be challenging? And I know it will be a great challenge for many of us to obey God. In areas where God is telling us to do what, uh, what to do. Why did I say that? Because Elijah had to travel 85 miles. Ano not 85 miles, kakabsat? 136 kilometers. Oh, kasla deta ket lawag to Santa Praxedes, tama ba ako? <laughs> ha? Mapan. Uno klaberia pa siguro. Ti pinagpag nagakabsat ni Elijah nga mapan ijay we those place. Oh. So, anat pilyem nga rod kakabsat. DJ agtulnog ka ti Apo ngam narigat. When no Ag panunot ka itinala ka nga pamuspusan. Ha? Mang panunot ka ti convenient way. And by the way, as humans, it is our nature to always think of the most convenient way to do it. Am I right? Dito program at panunot tayo. Amen? Anat ka alistuan? Dito ko natin nga pangalistuan. Oh, kasla itay ka the instruction ni Pastor John. Kat uh, napan ni Kevin. Imbagamot ni Kevin, kit di, DJ, kuna ni Pastor Jun, kung DJ mo ta, tao kakabsat, tayo mo't pangalistuan, ti naramid na. Uh, tati kuna ni Pastor Jun, kat sa gegeisa nga resibo, ti kada papeles, kuna na, papel, sa gegeisa nga resibo. Ang ti ayan na nga ganas, DJ mo't uh, mga ramid ang kakabsat, uh, ti pangalistuan, may mesa nga resibo, ti manu nga papeles mo, ti namayan na. Why? Because data kakabsat ti nature ti tao, pangalistuan. But what if ti bagbaga ti apoking kakabsat, kat saan nga di pangalistuan, narigat kakabsat, kala deto, di ba? There could have been an easy way. Apay ko nga, di ba, hindi nagsardingan nga imay, di giti Raven. Okay? Why not ko na ti apo, o takala ta Elijah, nalpasan ta Raven, dav mo ti umayang, kunan ako ma, di ba kakabsat? You know, God told to Elijah, Oh, Elijah, get out from Brook Cherith, now go to Zarephath. This tells us, kakabsat, nga numang pay in the practical sense of life, usarantay ti wisdom to do things the most efficient, the most effective ways. But when it comes to life's decision about the future, saan lang nga di pangalistuan ti pagibasaram? Haang nga di convenient no di kat jay pagayatan la ta iti apo kakabsat. It's not what we want. It is not what is convenient for us. But it is what God wants. Deta kakabsat, isursuro na dito. At ano nagadayo kakabsat, di ba? Now, kuna ni B.J. Miller. Listen to it very carefully. Okay? B.J. Miller, kuna na. It is a great deal easier to do that which God gives us to do no matter how hard it is, than to face the responsibilities of not doing it. At the end, kakabsat, na nam, nam, nalaklakan to, nasaysaya at to, nga inaramid tayo, day day ipapaubra itiapo, uray narigat man, kakabsat, kesa day sang wumtun te responsibilidad, tihan mo pinangaramid ka day day nga banag. Example, Kadating nga naganak, numang pa'y busy tayo, dakil nga sakripisyo ti panagpatanor ti anak, 
Narigat ti agpadakkil ti ubing. By the way, nalaklaka ti agpadakkil ti ubing ang magpatanor. Kasi ti agpadakkil kakabsat, ibatim na to ubing yan ta kitsen, dumakkil na ubing. Ngam ti agpatanor, no agpatanor ko natin amin, breeding. And it is hard to breed a child. Breeding, kaya nasa mong jay karakter, jay mindset, hangga nalaka kakabsat, nga isuro permanente ti biyag ti may isang ubing madagdag ulit. Nakarigrigat kakabsat ti agpatanur ti ubing. Naman ako na ti Bible, train up a child. The word train is not an easy thing to do. Considering the fact nga busy tayo nga parents kakabsat. But listen, uray agpaiso na rigat ti mang training ti anak ngem nalaklaka nga sangwon day jay kumpara kaday jay panang sangom to ti consequence ti hamo panang training ta anak. Narigrigat to day jay agpaiso kakabsat. So nasaysaya at lang nun nga uray na rigat jay panangaramit tayo ti ibagbaga ti yapo ubraan tayo. Kaysa di inignor mo nga hamu inubra kakabsat, narigrigat to, di di responsibilidad nga sangwem, ti hamu panangarami di pagayatan ti hapo. Another quotation said, it's not in the screen, but let me read. The cost of obedience is nothing compared with the cost of disobedience. Di di cost ti panagtulnog, wala yun kumpara doon sa cost of disobedience, no, nagsuway ka tiya po, no, hang ka nagtulnog itiya po. Narigrigat na iti kapsat. Iso nga, tonight, anya, di kiti banag nga pakisarsaritaan tiya po king ka, nga kasapulan nga asikaswem. Hello? Anada ka kapsat, di kiti bambanag nga ibagbaga tiya po kada tayo, ngem ka di kiti naglabas nga aldaw, di ti ikaskaso. Kala di tayo, alis tuntula, di kita kung kunatay lata. Bay am latta, di kita, mayat to latta ng manan kakabsat, mariknam, numakang ngagkat preaching, irang-ring to man tiyapo kinkan, irang-ring to man tiyapo. So, kakabsat, di kita nga banad, let us not ignore God's direction in our lives. Kaslama mo ta pa nag-diet, di nga min na Conrad, na nga to jay level ti sugar ni Conrad, alagat let's go for the solution na na yan, alpas, Nalpas de je, nalpas ti amin nun. So, let's face the present situation. Akit, numang pa'y narigat ti agsidat parya ita. Aglesen ti rice. Umadayo ka, dagi ti nasa samit nga makmakan. Bumangon nga nasapat at numapan nag-walking ag-exercise. Narigat nga ba nagdayjay? Ngayon no dim arami din ita. Akit, narigrigat to, narigrigat to, Conrad, de je, sangwum nga consequence di jihamupi ng ubra di rubeng mong arami din ita. So, tipak pakita dahi ito nga lesson ka da tayo kakabsat. Hantay ko mga agawid nga inrikup tayo dahi ito ikat kas lang nalpas manen, no? Sapay ta ibati na ti apo kakabsat makisao maminsan pa nga gundaway ka da tayo. Katrangrangan na tayo manen ka di gijay ba nag imbagbaga na tinaglabas malagip tayo kumaman itan. Listaan tayo dikit yung abambanagan, kat ko na tayo, Lord, asikasuho ko na po. Ubrao ko na po. Noong naguluti finances tayo kakabsat, kat tiya po makididilking ka, tugawam lang ng kakabsat, tanuham mo nga asikasuho na ito, lumala nga lumala. Kung nam apo, asikasuho ko, or noso ko na ito yung finances, o ray manung aldaw, nataltal na ito, panunot mo kakabsat, nga inaramid mo, Day day pagayatan tiya po. So, obeying God can be challenging. But it is more challenging to face the responsibilities of not doing the will of God. Amen? Day day ti may kadwa nga tulbek kakabsat. Submission. Number three tonight is provision. Now, when it comes day to provision kakabsat, makita tayo day day verse four and nine. Okay? Tipan na kayo provide na giti needs tayo hanga da tayo ti source. Importante nga mo tayo day jay kakabsat. We are not the sources of our provisions. God is the source. Okay? In fact, da giti pagsapulan tayo, they are not even the sources of our blessings. 
God is still the source of our blessings. De gitoy kakabsat ket resources. Kala ko madati Pilipinas ita kakabsat. Ha? Do you realize nga dati Pilipinas ket resources, nagadut resources. Ket tilang arami den tayo ket agbirok. Agmula ngem ti paggapuan naggapuan na amin de gitoy kakabsat ket ni Apo Dios. Because in verse 4 and 9, look at this. The Bible says in verse number 4, And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. Kung natiapo, uminom kanto ka da'y jay waig. Oo. Ah, Dakay dita, tagakabulalaan. Mabalin nyo ka, kaya inumun ta, danum ta waig yaw. Ah? <laughs> Made, ayan. Okay, ngam. Ni Elijah ko na tiapo, inumum to, jay waig ko na na. Okay? And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. Binilin ko, dagiti uwak, tap no isudat, umay mang pakan kang ka. Now, there is a similarity in verse 9. Look at verse number 9. Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Sidon, and dwell there. Ginald kajay, behold, I have commanded a widow. Day jay muna ko na na, bilin ito, day jay, uwak. Dahil ito'y ko na na, binilin ko, day jay balo. Anat nakita yung jay kakabsat ng agpada. The word is, I have commanded. Di kiti gayang provisions ti biyag tayo kakabsat, ti apo gayang ti mang bilin. Isumot lang ako na na ti Biblia, sa lang at tinapay ti pagbiag ti tao, no di kat anyaman ng tao tingiwat ti Diyos. Tano anyat ibilin ti Apo, iso ti agbali na provision tayo. Iso nga nakatutok tayo lata ti ibagat ti Apo, tano masurutan tayo di ibagat ti Apo, masukalan tayo ito di provision nga insagana na. Obey the word of God because they di pangiturungan ti word of God ken ka at da di nga gururay ti provision mo kapsat. Ijeng agur uray ti provision tayo. I have commanded. So letter A, didi kakabsat, in this point is this. God has always a plan for your life concerning future crisis. Mabigla tayo ti crisis, ngimhan tayo nga dapat madanagan. Gaputa, sakbay pa yung nga madanon, di gito yung crisis kakabsat na planon ti Apo, ti provision. You realize that? Before nga imay, dahil ti krisis kakabsat, idi may, by the way, nabigla tayo amin. Aglalo idi March, idi may declare kakabsat, iti lockdown. Nabigla tayo amin. <laughs> Personally kakabsat, listen very carefully, diti church, nabigla ak, nabigla tayo nga members, kasan nga tayo nga rutatan, Ngemti, nakasaysaya at kakabsat, sakbay nga imay, dahil ito'y lockdown, na isaganan, di gito'y gadgets. Nga hindi may isagana, di gito'y gadgets, they were not set up for a lockdown. They were prepared for Hawaii folks, dahil nga data Hawaii. Na iset up, di gito'y nga kakangina nga gadgets, tap no, makabuya kayo dito Hawaii. Ngayon kita nyo kakabsat ti kina imbag ti Apo. Imbaon na ni Preacher Glenn nga imay dito. I believe God commanded him to come here. God commanded him to take that vacation. Dito tinakaskas daw kakabsat. One day before lockdown, isupelat pa nagsublay dat Hawaii. Kat halos dito internet tayo, dito nakapimpindas na internet tayo. Ano dito yung datayan? Fiber. Na iset up kakabsat just one day before. So makita yung kakabsat. We were just doing the work of the Lord. But God was, God's unseen hand was working behind the scenes. The crisis was coming, but God said, don't worry. I had already prepared something for you. Nakamaymayat kakabsat, dahi tang ehemplo. Ngayon naramid ti Apo ti Church tayo. Kat no'y naramid ti Apo, iti kagimungan tayo kakabsat. Apay nga hanakit din aramidin. Kadigiti individual nga biyag tayo, kadigiti pampamilya tayo. 
Isunga ko na ni Apo Yesus, apay nga nagkapoy ti pamatim. O ye of little faith, sakbay nga agarais digi di future crisis tayo kapsat. Whatever they are, God has already a plan concerning our future crisis. May ikadwa di di kapsat that I like for you to realize is this. God can provide for your needs through unexpected means. God can provide for your needs through unexpected means. Then as on the unexpected kakabsat, ha? Ha nga DJ, kas lang inexpect mo nga wagas. Oo, ti panangi provide iti apo kakabsat. Agasam ta ti inusar ti apo of all the birds. There are how many species iti birds? Ha? Maybe hundreds, if not thousands. Kadig iti nagkaadong ay species ti bird, he could have used an eagle, dakdakil ti ima ti eagle. Diba? He could have used a dove. He could have used a chicken. Mano ko malata nga chicken ti imay nga nagpresentarong kakabsat. Nga nakudaap lata di sangwanan ni Elijah. But of all the many species of birds, raven. Now, Importante kakabsat nga makita tayo dito because dito raven was considered unclean in the Jewish diet. Unclean. So no handa mabaling nga kanan, dito'y karne itiuwak, eh how much more nga rojay iyag tiwak? Amoy no apay? Because the ravens eat dead flesh. They are scavengers. Kala bulchur. Tikang kanan da kakabsat, dagiti na tayan. Kada mo yung tinusar ti Apo nga nang feed kin Elijah kakabsat. Di giti Raven. Mali yun, jay three meals a day. Two meals a day lang. Two thousand times nga timmayab di gito eh. Nga Raven. Nga imay. Di ka mo kakabsat, no may may isang nga Raven. Di imay, wano nagsisinoblat da. But of all the many, why the Raven kakabsat? If this is a scavenger, Dahi ti pa'y wak iso di yung baon ni Noah, di yung barko, kata na nagsubsubli, di ba? You know? The Lord Jesus said, consider the ravens. Why? Well, is it not that God can use even the unbelievers to provide for your need? Unexpected. Iso di ko na na di Bible, give and it shall be given unto you. Good shaken, pressed down, Shaken together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom. Sinot mang ted? Men. Who are these men? It could be the unbelievers. Unexpected means. Now, it does not matter anymore. Basta importante, naggaputi apo, dahi dyan nga provision. God used a struggling widow. And by the way, dahi dyan gaya nga widow, some commentaries say, She is a Gentile. She is a Gentile. Kat ti Gentile, hindi ka kapsat, there was a distance between the Jew and the Gentile. But God can provide your needs through unexpected means. Kaya ti Apo ka kapsat. May katlo, God commands the blessings. Psalms 133 verse 3, the Bible says, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. What a blessing, kakabsat! Malagip ko dito yung story. May panggap ka dito yung Dallas Theological Seminary. In its early days, It was in a critical need of ten thousand dollars to keep the work going. At the need na, and during that time, ten thousand dollars is quite a huge amount. During a prayer meeting, may sa kadigijay nga teachers ideng iskuela, who is a renowned Bible teacher, tinaga nakat Harry Ironside, nagkararag. Katikararag na ko na na, Lord, you own the cattle on a thousand hill. At the Bible, they die. Kukwam apo, dagiti amin na dingwen, kadagiti rinibribo, nga bambantay, kunana. 
Taytay at kukuwam amin na po digitoy. And then he said, please, kuna na di prayer na, sell some of those kettle to help us meet this need. Ilakong man apo, digitoy, nga dingwen. Tap nun ti kasta maisabot ti pagkasapulam mi. Surprisingly, shortly after the prayer meeting, at the dimtong nga tseke kakabsat, nga $10,000 ije eskwela. Exactly the amount they needed and prayed for. Nga dating nga tseke, na isend earlier, siyempre, di ba? Na email eh. So it was sent earlier by a friend who had no idea of the urgent need in Ironside's prayer. Awan idea na dayo nga need. Basta tiya po, tinignay tiya po iso na nga mga ito, dayo $10,000. Iti damagang dagakabsat, may panggap ka dayo yung nga insen na, tagwander da na baktang ba dito, apay nga naitid na kas ito yung amount, Amuyot sung bat na kakabsat ko na na. It came from the sales of my kettle. <laughs> Data $10,000 naglakwak ti dingwan ko ko na na. Kita um kakabsat. Binilin ti apo, dayjay nga tao. Tap nun ti kasta ila ko na, dayjay ti dingwan na. Kadjay paglakwan na itod na, dayjay pagkasapulan, dayjay nga eskwela. Oh, brethren, nakaskas daaw iti hapo. This is a true story. Baka kung kunayo parparbo deto, pay-payso deto yung kakapsan. God commands the blessing. Therefore, lastly, letter D, dito iti maudi kakapsan ng realization, obedience is our real concern. Provision is God's concern. Saan nga di provision ti number one nga problema tayo kakapsan? Ti number one nga dapat isetel tayo ti biyag tayo. Jay pa nagtulnog tayo ti Apo. It's obedience that is our real and primary concern. Because God is in control of your present and your future and He takes care of our needs. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness And all these things shall be added unto you. Praise ko tiya po kakabsat ni Brother J. Brail. Gasom ko ma, J. Brail no hangka nag-resign J. Trabahom ide. Ngam gaputa na dagsan J. Burden, ti puso na. Brother J. Brail is always here every service. There is a burden in his heart to serve the Lord. He wanted to serve God on Saturdays and Sundays. Now, Hindi lang siya nagsiserve sa Panginoon Saturdays and Sundays. But in all of our services, He's here to assist us and help us here. Amen? Oh, God will take care on all of these things shall be added unto you. Kakabsat, hangat ilubong tikit kitaan tayo. Saan nga iti aglawlaw tikit kitaan tayo? Tumangad tayo, Jay nga to. Kat digiti talo kakabsat, Nga tulbek, masapol, nga i-exercise tayo ida. Number one, direction. Tonight, hanyo nga tagibasitan, day day nga advice nga intud ko as pastors, kada, as pastor kada kayo kakapsat. Alain nyo kit, di kita notebook tayo. Di kita preaching tinaglabas, kada review tayo. Lakit di, at dati, na ito ding ijay kakapsat, nga masapol mo nga wisdom ita. Secondly, submission. Dedi pa nagtulnog tayo iti apo. Number three, provision. We are not the source. God is the source. But you need to obey Him. You need to trust in Him. Amen? And all of God's people say, Iti apo ti madaydayaw kakabsaan.